What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Right now I am on my way to pick up my truck so that way we can uh, stop by this business for a quick jump removal. Got a lot of hustlers out here cutting grass, getting that money, baby. Pulling up now to go get my truck and my trailer. I'm honestly considering clearing the stuff off of here and just grabbing this. God, I really don't want to do that. I think I may just attach the big dump trailer. I'm going to pull up on them so that way they can see and be like, okay, we can work with that. We still got more junk. We're going to give you a call since you got that thing right there, okay? As a matter of fact, uh, just a FYI, new uniforms. This one doesn't have my actual uh, business logo, but working on another set that does. So new uniforms, pants, All right. and we already had uh, steel toe construction boots. Got these from uh, eBay. I'm gonna have to order some more because, I mean, I, I've been working on them, so they're dogged up. Dogged up. But still, still fully functional but uh again new uniform love it i absolutely love it look like i'm uh i'm serious about working right yeah <laughs> all right fellas so let me get uh let me get this attached and i gotta hurry up gotta get to the ground baby gotta get to the ground so chit chat with you guys later <sighs> Good. All right, first business customer. All right, so we're gonna take this. All right, guys, we are back. We are back. The Tundra 5.7. She is putting in work, baby. She's putting in work. Got all this pile of wood here. I got a good location to take that. This stuff here, I'm gonna take a picture and uh, send it to uh, a business which that business is going to give me a, uh, you know, a uh, estimate on, uh, you know, how much they'll take this stuff. I don't have my magnet on me. Um, I wanted to use my magnet so I can see, you know, confirm, you know, steel, metal, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Find her a little home. Yes, sir. That was my first, my first business customer for an actual storefront business. First. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about that. And the crazy thing is it's been extremely slow right now for me. But you know, I always told myself, just keep yourself busy and try to find the smallest wins and make them make them the best wins and eventually you know time is going to pick up itself and uh you know you'll be you'll be back on the road doing your business thing so uh that's definitely uh what's currently going on there let me go ahead and uh turn this truck off real quick all right so that way nobody tries to okey the oh my gosh goodness gracious I, I i can't believe i left the key right there man that is such a rookie mistake do i still got my other keys hold on guys good thing that the key held on and the good thing i didn't go too far this right here is uh, she ain't tight So I'm just snapping pictures while you guys are watching. 
I'm gonna put my keys down real quick. I love this uniform. I absolutely love my. Love it. Right, let me see if I can get get up here. Okay, so this is inside. That's the machine. So, I typically bring my hand truck, but this time I did not have my hand truck at all. I did not. I wasn't, uh, uh, I really wasn't expecting this to be a soda machine. The guy said ice cream machine. So I'm thinking, thinking we had a little small ice cream machine, but no, it's big boy right here. It's the real McCoy, Johnny McCoy. I can only imagine when I, when I pull up to my kid's school. They come get them. Hey kids, I'm I'm, I'm here. <laughs> They're gonna be like, uh, Dad. <laughs> you know, their friends gonna be like, Ah, oh, your dad's the coolest. He's always got the coolest stuff for his truck. <laughs> One time I had a um, bubble gum machine, and let me tell you, I'm trying to find somebody to get this big spaceship off my truck. <laughs> I mean, I could take it off my truck, but you know, it's a collector's item. It's a uh, they're the gumball machine. I do have the actual dispenser, uh, you know, for it. All you gotta do is put some bubble gum in it, you know, put your 25 cents in it and uh, get yourself some bubble gum. So yeah, I'm trying to, <laughs> that thing's about to go on eBay. That's what it's about to do. It's about to go on eBay. Next time I had a uh, carnival. I just, I just can't wait. I can't wait until I get my magnets, my business magnets. People are going to see it and they're going to, they're going to take pictures of it because they're eventually going to need some type of junk to be removed. So I'm going to get magnets. I'm going to drive it and pass it the door and uh, two magnets on the side and one on the rear. You know, as I'm driving, people can see my business. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, guys, let's roll. But, uh, you know, I got faith. Business will pick up as the economy improves. You know, things will pick up. So you just got to find the blessings in disguise. No matter what the price is, find the blessings that's in this disguise. You know, just appreciate what you got. And don't worry about what you don't have. Holler at you guys later. Got the oversized pallets, then you got your standard pallets. So two standard pallets and then the other oversized pallets. Now this is some good, good reusable wood. Like even this, you can like repurpose that for, uh, you know, a floor, like an attic or something. And this is just pretty much scrap metal industrial coffee machine then you got your rails and other stuff here the actual motors and pumps and stuff of that nature um, uh, there's a number of places where I can actually go I'm just trying to find you know the best best location best location uh, we'll eventually get there so with the soda machine uh, you know I thought about when I first seen it, it's like, oh, okay, I could resell it. But uh, just look inside of the soda machine. That's going to be a tax to uh, clean out and repurpose. Mm. So the so soda machine was, was basically retired a while ago. They just wanted to, uh, you know, get it out of the, their facility. Uh, it's actually a new business. So all this stuff was already here. It's a new business that's moving in that location. So all of the previous stuff, like this, they basically scrapped it. They had new equipment, so that's why I see those uh, pallets.
But uh, yeah, these uh, these pallets, they definitely can be repurposed. While I was picking up food for my kids, ran into a, a guy that does nothing but uh, he collects pallets. So I got his number. But uh, these these pallets, I already uh, have a pallet company that says, you know, just drop it off to them. And, you know, they take care of it. But kind of looking towards more so um, if I can make some scrap money off the pallets. If I can't, um, I'm pretty sure I can. I just got to do some research and digging. But I'm in a time crunch, too, because I need to get this trailer cleared off i do have another job tomorrow but i'm gonna use my backup trailer clear the stuff off as much as possible and just uh run this for tomorrow i just got a whole bunch of uh, clothes that the customers uh needs to remove a whole bunch of bags they did they said no furniture but if, if it is then we might have to make some trips but uh this was the original trailer that i started off with with my business so always keep uh you know my original on me for backup so you know you never you just never know you never know what might happen but uh yeah so let me go ahead and uh get some of the stuff offloaded i definitely think this one is uh it's gonna be a asset for tomorrow i got these custom wooden rails so i can always uh be able to stack some stuff up yeah it's her and her glory the big old 5.7 tundra yes sir some people may say get yourself a diesel something of that nature or dump truck not well not like a semi dump truck but you, you guys can understand what i'm saying the actual truck with a dump bed trust me that's that's the dream that's the dream that's the dream but i'm the type of believer that if you're gonna start something or start a business start off with what you have and work your way up don't try to go all out in because the work may not be there at that given time so you gotta take it slow you gotta take it slow so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to take a slow. Definitely appreciate everyone watching my videos, subscribing to my channel. Definitely appreciate it. As I learn, I'm, I'm gonna share the things that I've learned. So that way, uh, the next man that's trying to get to where I'm at, they'll be able to take pointers and learn from my experience, my rights and my wrongs, and be able to turn it to a, a game for them. All right, guys. Catch up with you guys later. Peace.